Everybody find a seat. My, look how many wonderful faces there are here. Boy, this church gave me a whole new meaning to bling. And if you bring your Bible, you got bling, bling. <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And boys and girls. I want to tell you a story. Let me put my hand on so I can think straight. I want to tell you a story about a rancher. This rancher was a shepherd, and he raised sheep. We've been learning a lot about sheep, but this is a different little story here. Or is it? You see, every spring, all the sheep, they all loved their, their shepherd. They loved that shepherd, and the shepherd loved all of them sheep. And he had them sheep trained. All he had to do was walk around with his staff like this, and all he'd have to do is say, Coo sheep, coo sheep, and all the sheep would follow him. Because they trusted him. He knew he was going to take them somewhere nice. And every spring when the flowers were out and the grass was real green and all the trees had pretty green leaves on them, he'd get his sheep out and he'd take them for a hike up the side of the mountain. And all he'd do is take off, coo sheep, coo sheep. And all them sheep would follow him. All he had to do is just keep walking. Hey, one day they went up into the side of the mountain and they came in through the woods and in this beautiful meadow was real tall grass, probably all the way up to your ankles. Nice, fresh grass. Oh, that grass tasted so good. It was so sweet. And all the little lambs, they loved being able to jump around and roll around and have fun playing in that grass. Oh, it was so nice. Shepherd would let them sit there, walk around and play for a couple hours. He'd take a little nap. And then after a couple hours were up, it was time to go back to the house because back at the ranch was about two hours away. It took them two hours of hiking to get up on the side of that mountain. But they hiked all the way up there, and after they'd had a couple hours of good grass feeding and, and having fun, Shepherd said, well, it's time to go back home. So he starts walking back toward the ranch. Goose sheep! And all the sheep follow him except this one little lamb. And he's sitting there, I don't want to go. I like it here. Oh, this grass is so green and it tastes so good. You know, I'm real strong and I can run real fast. I'll catch up with them. Let me just have just a little bit more grass. Oh, that's so good. Coo sheep, coo sheep, coo sheep. He kept eating that grass pretty soon. He looked up. Well, where, where'd everybody go? Where, where, which way did they go? Well, he'd run as fast as he could. And he'd listen. Couldn't hear it. He ran over this, over this way. Nah, they're not this way either. Man, he started getting scared, and pretty soon there come some black clouds rolling in. And boom! Thunder came, and lightning came, and the wind started. From, and it was cold. It's cold. What am I going to do? And it's raining now. By this time, the rancher, the shepherd's back in the ranch with his sheep, and he's putting them up. He sees them black clouds coming over that mountain. He says, well, it's going to be a bad storm. I better put these sheep in the barn so they don't have to stay out in the rain. And he starts counting them. One, two, three. Gets up to 55. Gets up to 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Uh-oh. Well, maybe I miscounted. Let's do it again. So he counts them all over again, gets all the way up to 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Oh, no, there's one missing. I'm about this time. Boom! Here come that thunder again all over the ranch. And here comes the wind. And it's getting cold and it's raining real hard. Oh, no. One of my little sheep is up there on that mountain. Meanwhile, back up on that mountain, it's got dark now. It's nighttime. That little strand run, <laughs> and he runs over this wind. <laughs> Big old bear hollers out. So he runs back over this wind. <laughs> There's a big wolf up there. <laughs> Where can I go? I gotta go this way. I go this way. And, and the elf says, <laughs> Big old mountain lion. <laughs> nah, I can't go that way. <laughs> so he, Which way am I gonna go? Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Shepherd says, goes inside the house, got to get my raincoat. His wife had just fixed him his supper. 
just in time. She says, I can't sit down and eat no supper. She says, why not? She says, one of my little lambs is lost up there on the mountain. There could be wolves up there, bears up there. could be mountain lions up there. I got to go get him. She says, oh, you don't have to worry about that one little lamb. Look how many sheep you got. Why worry about that one little lamb? I got to. I love that little lamb. Can't let nothing happen to him. Okay, honey, if you insist, get your raincoat and here's your lantern. So that he got his raincoat and his lantern, and he got his staff, and he started hiking up back up that mountain. It took him two hours to get back up there in the rain. And what's that little lamb doing? And he's running every which way. Where did he go? I'm lost. I don't know what to do. Shepherd gets all the way back up that mountain into that meadow. He's yelling, Coo sheep! And he'd listen. No, he walked back over this way. Coo sheep! And he'd listen. Walk back this way. Coo sheep. What, what was that? Did you hear that? Coo sheep. I know he's here somewhere. I, I hear him. Praise the Lord. I hear him somewhere. And he walks over to this far side over here. And right on the edge of the mountain, there was a cliff. And that little sheep had taken off and run and fell off that cliff. And there was a big old branch tree like this out the side of that cliff that caught that little lamb. He hit the side of the rocks on his way down. He was all cut up and hurting. And that shepherd took his staff just like this and put it right underneath that little lamb's front legs and pulled him back up, put him inside his raincoat and took him back to the ranch. Going to fix up all his cuts and bruises. And guess what that little lamb's thinking? Next time I hear that shepherd go, coo sheep, am I going to stay behind? <laughs> I ain't going to do that. The shepherd loves us all. Jesus is calling you. He may not be calling you Kushu. He may be calling Mary, David, Paul, Jimmy, John, Sally. He's calling each one of us. And are you going to be that lost sheep? Or are you going to follow Jesus when he calls you? Because he's calling us all right now. Thank you so much for hearing this story. <laughs>